Andhra Pradesh Assembly was adjourned till 3rd January after repeated disruptions by Telangana and Simandra leaders over AP reorganization bill issue. Chief Minister N. Kiran Kumar made a statement in the Legislative Assembly. Soon after the House met for the day, TDP members from Telangana rushed towards the podium, raising loud slogans in favor of Telangana, only to be joined by the Simandru region counterparts in raising slogans and counter slogans. The Lalit Modi faction remains confident of a thumping victory in the Rajasthan Cricket Association elections, which were held on Thursday, but they will have to wait till 6 January for the results. The high voltage poles, which have become a thorn in the flesh of BCCI because of Modi, who contested for the post of RCA president, were held under the Supreme Court appointed principal observer, Justice N.M. Kasliwal, who, as per the directors of Supreme Court, sealed the ballot boxes and sent it to the Apex Court with his full report. Arvinder Singh Lovely has been appointed the new PCC chief in Delhi in face of J.P. Agarwal, who resigned, while Bhupesh Baghel has been made PCC chief in Chhattisgarh in place of Charandas Mahant in the wake of the assembly poll debacle. A Delhi court has issued production warrant for January 30th against a rights activist, Iram Sharmila, after she failed to turn up in a case lodged against her for allegedly attempting suicide during a fast unto death in Delhi in 2006. The Manipuri activist, who has been on a fast for over 12 years, demanding a repeal of the controversial Armed Forces Special Powers Act in her home state, did not appear before the court despite its October 30 direction in that regard. United Nations has lowered India's economic growth forecast for 2013 to 4.8%, down 1.3% from its earlier projection, while warning that emerging markets should be prepared to deal with the impact of U.S. Federal Reserve's quantitative easing program. The UN's World Economic Situation and Prospects 2014 report has also lowered the growth projection for 2014 to 5.3% down 1.2% from earlier forecast. Eminent Indian missile scientist A. Sivathanu Pillai has been given the highest Russian award by President Vladimir Putin for his contribution towards strengthening the ties between the two countries through the successful BrahMos supersonic cruise missile program. Along with Pillai, senior BJP leader and Public Accounts Committee Chairman Murli Manohar Joshi has also been bestowed with the Russian award Order of Friendship, which is the highest award given by that country to foreign citizens. Goa celebrated its 52nd anniversary of Liberation Day from the Portuguese Yoke on Thursday. Goa was liberated on 19 December 1961 from Portuguese occupation after a protracted and long freedom struggle and Operation Vijay conducted by the Indian Army. The stock market ended on a negative note after the Fed tapering program. The 30 share benchmark Sensex closed at 20,709, down by 151 points. Nifty also reflected the same mood and shut shop at 6,167, down by 51 points. Selling pressure was also seen in mid-cap and small space and were down marginally.